hi today let us study about antifungal drugs so first of all what are these antifungal drugs so these these are the drugs which are used to treat the fungal infections which might be topical or systemic next we have a chemical classification here first one is polyne antibiotic example amphotericin b nystatin b second one antimetabolite example griseofelvin third one azole in azole we have two types in that first one is imidazole example ketoconazole and myconazole the and second one is triazoles example for triazoles or variconazoles next we have allyl amines in allyl amines example is fluconazole and itraconazole and last one is others example for that is tolnaphtate and and undecylonic acid next let us study about individual drugs here first one let us study about amphotericin b amphotericin b first of all it comes under polyene antibiotics so it is obtained from streptomyces nodus as the name itself indicate amphotericin means it is amphoteric in nature that it does not contain any charges next let us study about the mode of action so your uh, fungal cell wall is made up of a main component called as ergosterol ergosterol is the main component of the fungal cell wall. so what happens your amphotericin b come and binds to this ergosterol or come and interacts with ergosterol that is in the cell membrane so that what happens so it slowly start forming a pore in the fungal cell wall as the pores are formed what happens whatever the ions amino acids potassium all other ions whatever it is present inside the cell start slowly moving out so what happens as all these ions start moving out it causes the cell death so main action of amphotericin b is that it mainly act on fungal cell wall and causes a pore so due to the pore all the ions start leaking out of the cell and the fungus finally gets dead so this is the mode of action or mechanism of action Next, let us study about chemical structure of amphotericin b here we have a huge structure of amphotericin b usually we know that amphotericin b comes under polyene antibiotics polyene means it contains several double bonds here amphotericin b contain a several seven double bonds in its structure next let us study about spectrum of activity so here amphotericin b is active against a wide range of microorganisms like yeast fungus and candida albicans aspergillus etc so what we should mainly concentrate is that here depending upon the concentration of amphotericin b what we are using it can either act as fungicidal or fungistatic at lower concentration it acts as fungistatic and at higher concentration it acts as fungicidal so mainly we should concentrate on the concentration so next let us study about the pharmacokinetics of the amphotericin b here when amphotericin b is given orally it won't be absorbed so it is given through the iv route as a suspension form with the help of deoxycholate so it will be widely distributed throughout the body but penetration through csf is very poor next uh, it has a t half of around 15 days metabolized in liver and excreted in urine and bile so next let us study about the some of the adverse effect of amphotericin b like thrombophlebitis nephrotoxicity azotemia reduced glomerular filtration rate acidosis hypokalemia sinus toxicity and anemia next uses amphotericin b is used for the treatment of systemic mycosis and treatment of leishmaniasis next let us study about griseofelvin here griseofelvin comes under anti metabolite category next let us see the mode of action of griseofelvin here griseofelvin mainly interfere with the mitosis so it fit is interfering with the mitosis what happens it causes the abnormal metaphase configuration so what happens daughter nuclei fails to move apart thus cell division get arrested 
so the main function of griseofelvin is to arrest the cell division e next let us study about the chemical structure here we have a chemical structure of griseofelvin next spectrum of activity it acts on dermatophytes such as epidermatophytons trichophytons mycosporins etc next pharmacokinetics the adsorption from git is somewhat irregular because it is very wat low water solubility next get deposited in the catin forming cells of skin hair and nails absorption is enhanced by micronization tf is around 24 hours and it is metabolized by methylation and excreted through urine next adverse effect some of the adverse effect are peripheral neuritis consistent leukemia albuminuria photoallergy next uses of griseofelvin or used in dermatophytosis and localized tinea infection next class of the drugs are imidazoles and triazoles you, these are presently the most extensively used antifungal drugs next we have mode of action how they act they inhibit the fungal cytochrome p450 enzyme that is lanosterol 14 dimethylase which is required for the conversion of lanosterol to ergosterol ergosterol is the main component of the fungal cell wall so if this is inhibited obviously the fungal cell membrane will be get damaged so your precursors precursors from precursors squalene will be formed from squalene lanosterol from lanosterol ergosterol ergosterol is the main component of the fungal cell membrane your allyl amines act on the squalene epoxidase which is necessary for the conversion of squalene to lanosterol and azoles antifungal drugs act on 14 alpha methylase which is necessary for the conversion of lanosterol to ergosterol which is main cell function or cell membrane component so next let us study about the spectrum of activity it mainly act on dermatophytes candida albicans nocardia and leishmaniasis next we have an adverse effect the main adverse effect is that it inhibits cytochrome p3a4 so if cytochrome p3a4 is inhibitor this causes the rising the blood levels of the drugs like warfarin and tafenadine so it the main adverse effect is inhibition of cytochrome p3a4 which causes the raising the blood drugs level of warfarin and tafenadine next uses it is mainly used in systemic and topical fungal infection carlazer and dermatophyte so next drug is flucytosin a mode of action of flucytosin is flucytosin is taken up by the fungal cell wall and then it will get converted into 5 fluorouracil this 5 fluorouracil is converted into 5 fluorouridylic acid which mainly inhibit the thymidylate synthesis this thymidylate synthesis is necessary for the synthesis of thymidylic acid which is the main component of the dna synthesis here we have represented in the schematic representation chemical structure here we have given a chemical structure next adverse effect some of the adverse effect of leukopenia thrombocytopenia bone marrow depression alopecia hepatotoxicity next uses flucytosin is used in the treatment of chromoblastomycosis so here finally we have the schematic representation how the fungal drugs will act so for more videos please do subscribe to our channel and leave your comments thank you